Protests continued for the 10th night across the country, largely peacefully, but with clashes breaking out between police and demonstrators. Several instances of police violence have been caught on video. And two officers in the city of Buffalo have been suspended after shoving a man to the ground. In Washington, D.C., the law enforcement presence was lighter than previous nights as protesters marched to Capitol Hill. Well, our reporter Colin Campbell is in Washington, D.C., and we can go there now. Thank you very much for talking to us. So Reverend Sharpton at the memorial addressing all of the people there said the protests will continue until we see real change. Uh, does it look like the protest movement will continue? And what at this point has changed, if anything? For now, it looks like the protests will continue. Of course, the intensity of these protests will have waned a bit over several days. And this typically happens with protesting in the district and across the country. Washington, D.C. does not form the protest. We have several protests every year about various issues. And where they may start out very robustly and very intensely, they tend to just peter out over several days. And we saw a drop-off with some of the intensity in the protesting here in the district after the charges were announced for the other officers on the scene when George Floyd killed and the charges were upgraded for the, uh, for the former officer, Derek Chauvin, who actually had his knee on the neck of George Floyd. And what Sharpton was doing was calling attention to an issue that many have talked about for decades, and that is police brutality and hyper-aggression coming from police. So while there be protests that may still address this issue in the district and in other cities around the country, they won't measure up to the size that we've seen in recent days. And the protests have been continuing despite curfews, one of which there is in Washington, D.C., where, where you are. It's been a real epicenter, the White House, of course, and a real focal point for the protesters. What's been the reaction of Donald Trump in the last day or so? Because the White House looks as though it is literally fortifying itself. What's happening? Yeah, a lot of people are reacting to the way that the White House is building up itself in almost like a fortress-like state, where people usually walk right by the White House. We've seen in recent years how the fence has gotten higher, how boundaries around the White House have gone even farther than what they were before. And it seems like currently President Donald Trump is taking that to a whole nother level. Some people have compared the district to a police state where you can see members of the National Guard cruising by in military vehicles, where you could see people dressed up in military camouflage, carrying guns that look like rifles, automatic uh, machine weaponry. And so this is not a usual sight here in the district. And some people have been somewhat alarmed by this reaction coming from the White House, especially as protests have become more peaceful. There have been less incidents of vandalism or looting. That really has not been a focal point of the protests in, in the past couple nights now. People are laying in the street uh, in signs of solidarity. They're chanting. They are parading through the streets. But it's not to the intensity that we heard about in the past several days. But yet still, there's still a military presence in the district. And that's what is making some people a little bit outraged at the moment. Colin Campbell, thank you very much. Speaking to us there from Washington, D.C.